Hi, how's it going? My name is Jeff from Picasso Piano Academy. I want to take a very short amount of your time today to talk to you about three essential things regarding effective practice, and it's the three S's. When you're practicing and you make a mistake, whether it's a rhythmic mistake, melodic mistake, whatever, stop, slow down, start all over again. Okay, one of the biggest problems I have with my students is once they start faltering on a particular section of music, their first instinct is to speed up as if, well, let's hurry up and get through this rough patch. No, you make a mistake, you stop, you slow down, and you start over. Now, a lot of times you have to use a metronome at first. Uh, because our, our instinct is to want to either just keep on doing it the same tempo or even go faster. So t take, a, take a metronome. If you're practicing a section at 100 beats per minute, you make a mistake, first thing you do is stop. Do not continue through a mistake. What happens when you do that is that you're training yourself to make that mistake over and over again. You just have to break the cycle the moment it happens. Stop slow down, take it off a couple of points, take it down to 98, and do the section again. As soon as you do the section three, four times without any mistakes, okay, fine, you can speed up if you want to. But after you've slowed down, you're still faltering, just keep on notching that thing down. You might not only be able to do it consistently correct at 78 beats per minute or whatever, but use the three S's. It's very important, and you will get to where you want to go faster. Okay, that's it. My name is Jeff Lance for Picasso Piano Academy. Mm -hmm.